Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of, actually quite a few, of interesting stories. And I know I'm running a little bit late, with a couple of these you all already saw everything there is to see about Carlos Thomas Jr. and this insane guest posing. Even though I'm late, I gotta give you my thoughts on what happened here, what we just witnessed. The reason why I'm being a little bit late is because my off-season started. And since I'm planning on trying to win a pro card in MPC or IB Pro League next year, I really need to grow and so I'm really focused on bodybuilding, on my own bodybuilding. But look at this madness right here. Look at those freaking legs. What the hell did just happen here at this guest posing? Is this guy just gonna show up at Texas and win the damn thing? Like last year what we saw with uh, Andrew Jack? who just showed up out of nowhere and just destroyed everybody and like became the new star that year maybe i'm pretty I, mean, I believe this is gonna be the same case with carlos thomas jr now the problem with his physique yeah we're gonna start with the problem it's his back but it looks better it definitely looks better but from the front like i mean he was amazing last year when he won the nationals overall but he improved so much, he grew so much muscle on this small frame, it's ridiculous, it's, it's insane how much muscle he has on his freaking legs, especially, and arms as well, and chest, pretty much everything from the front, with super small waist and super small joints, it just looks ridiculous, it just looks insane, it's mind-boggling, honestly, but those <laughs> legs, man, like, when was the last time you saw these thick legs, this reminds, look at the side leg, look at the freaking hamstring, like this is the new the new Tom Platts pretty much with upper body with insane upper body. I mean look at the size of those freaking arms, the biceps and the chest as well. Like it's insane. I don't know, man. Like there are a couple of weeks left until maybe like a week until the Texas. I think Tampa is this week and the next week it is Texas. So he's going to have to battle against Andrew Jack and Hunter Labrada and I think both of those guys are going to be in tremendous shape. You're gonna also see Blessing of Oribu and a couple of other bodybuilders, really good bodybuilders. So, it's not gonna be an easy show to win, but I still think he's gonna do it. I still think this physique is going to win the Texas Pro. Yeah, maybe he's gonna lose back double bicep. I wouldn't say so about the back lat spread, it looks pretty good. He has high lats and his back is a little bit underdeveloped compared to the rest of his body, but it progressed as well, it's not that small anymore. But, like, look at the freaking legs and the arms and the chest, everything from the front is just insane, man. Here's another video, more close-up video, a little bit better quality, it's like, you can see clearly what is happening, and like, it's not any worse than what we saw on that stage, like, it's insane, it, it's really... It is what it is, like, you can see, he's bringing something insane, something ridiculous this year. Look at this, man, look at this! Jeez, this is insane. If his back was matching his front body, I would say this guy's gonna win the Mr. Olympia. I would bet on him rather than I would bet on like Derek Lansford or Hari Chupan or even Samson Daura. Yeah, I just don't know about the back. But do I have him winning the Texas? Yes, I do. Yep, I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna beat both Andrew Jack and Andrew Labrada because... I, I don't really remember being this blown away. When was the last time, really? Like, maybe maybe when Derek Lansford did a guest posing last year at Pittsburgh. Maybe also when Andrew Jack showed up. But I think this is better. I think this is more impressive. This is just real freakiness right here. I don't know, man. I think he's gonna win Texas and, like, place in the top five at the Mr. Olympia. Why wouldn't he? Please, let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. Let me know what do you think. Where do you have this guy... Where do you rank him in the world right now? Like, is he the top 5 best bodybuilders in the world right now? Or top 10? I wouldn't say top 10. I mean, there aren't 9 other bodybuilders who are better than him. For sure, no way. Top 5. Top 5 best bodybuilders in the world right now. I'm sure about that. I believe so. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Like I said, we're gonna see Blessing at Texas Pro as well. So he didn't do well <laughs> at the at the Chicago Pro, not even close. Like he did really poorly. The reason being is that he simply prepped without a coach and things didn't really click for him. Now he made a story. The story is gone, unfortunately. I didn't film it, I can't show it to you. Some of you guys probably caught it, but basically what he said in that story was that uh, he, he he was looking for a new coach. He was speaking to somebody, but then he made this post, which pretty much says that he has a coach now. Uh, the coach is Cameron Cheek. 
Uh, if you guys are, clue are clueless who the hell this guy is, let me clue you in. It's this guy right here. I think he's pretty much a no-name guy. I don't know about this coach. Uh, maybe he's more popular in like uh, closer circles over there in United States. I don't know. But like he is the new coach of Blessing of Oribu. And they started working together already. So apparently Blessing was 306 pounds on stage. And he got down to 276 already. In that story that I just mentioned, he said that he was going to continue prepping. He can't make it for Tampa, it's too close, but maybe, probably, he's going to be ready for Texas. He said that this offseason, his past offseason, was one of the most productive offseasons he ever had, and I believe that. I saw a couple of videos and photos of him during the offseason, I thought this guy blew up. I thought everything is going to be much better, legs included. But come showtime, it really wasn't the case. This is his physique right now, so he's dieting hard, I'm sure. He's gonna try to bring conditioning for Texas, but as you can see, he didn't really improve those legs. Maybe it looked like it when he was full-blown in the offseason, you know, stuffed with carbs and like holding a lot of water and his legs looked rounder, but as you can see, once he dieted down, it all went away. Like, those legs are definitely not very good legs genetically. He's always gonna have smaller legs. When he, st <laughs> when he stands next to Carlos Thomas Jr., man, he's gonna be so blown away. So, uh, there is absolutely zero chance of this guy winning the Texas and beating Carlos Thomas Jr. So, I don't even see what's the point of competing at his show, but sure, he would be a nice addition. Not to be rude and say stage decoration, but... <laughs> I mean, that's what's gonna happen, like, he's not gonna be able to compete against those guys, not with his legs. Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jack both have decent legs, so they can stand next to Carlos Thomas, but no, not, not Blessing of Oribu, even though, even if he nails the conditioning, yeah, he's not in that caliber, not yet, I don't think he ever will be. I think he's a great guy, I think he's a nice guy, but, like, let's be real here, I don't think that's gonna happen because of those legs. That, that's it. That's like the sole reason. I can see him getting conditioned. He was very conditioned at, uh, at, at uh, Indy and New York when he won. But the lineup wasn't the deepest. Not really. So yeah, he can win pro shows. He can go to the Mr. Olympia. But compete against the very best in the world. Guys like Hunter, like Andrew, and like uh, Carlos Thomas Jr., no, no, so let's wait and see what he's gonna look like with this new coach, if he even does Texas, but once again, I think it'll be probably better for him if he skip, skip that show and did another show, because once again, those guys are like the top caliber, they are the, the best in the world, and yeah, I don't think there is a chance of Blessing cracking the top three at Texas. Since we are at the topic of legs, check this madness out. Check out Derek Lansford right now, 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia with a leg pump. Man, like, I don't know, is, is this freakier than Carlos Thomas Jr.? Like, it, it's very close to it. Maybe it's even more impressive. I don't know. I think, I think Derek is even shorter than Carlos. I'm not sure, but like, they're probably similar height. So, like, I love to see freaks, for sure, but this, I don't know, it looks like a little bit too much for me. <laughs> but does that even make sense? I mean, Derek was kind of criticized for the leg size. Like, his legs weren't really matching his upper body at the Olympia, so he had to bring them up. And, you know, we don't know how much of this is gonna stay once he dies down. But, I mean, right now, I think his legs look... Like, really dominant, insane, ridiculous. Like, this is this is really massive. He has a lot of muscle on those legs right now. So, yeah, let's wait and see once he gets uh, conditioned how much of this will stay, actually, and what his legs are gonna look like. But I'm pretty sure his legs are not gonna be his weakness anymore. He blew them up. He blew them up crazy. Here's another guy whose legs are sort of a topic of conversation lately, ever since that knee injury that he suffered during that guest posing. Uh, we were all worried that he won't be able to train his legs and that his legs are gonna, you know, go down in size. Uh, did that really happen? Well, I don't know, man. Here he looks good, but I'm not sure if it is the angle, the lighting, but maybe the right leg looks a little bit smaller. Maybe he trained only the left leg and not the right one. I'm not sure even which one is injured, which knee is injured. Maybe, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe it's just the lighting and the angle. 
But like overall, he looks good. The conditioning is getting better for sure. And this pose overall looks pretty freaking freaky, right? Like those arms and that wee taper and like the conditioning now. I think he was never this conditioned before. And he has a competition, I believe, in like, I don't know, five weeks, something like that, Italy. So yeah, it's gonna be his pro debut. I think this is going to be another guy who wins his pro debut. Like, I'm pretty sure about that. So he looks amazing right now. I don't know how much will that knee injury set him back, but I gotta tell you, he looks amazing. He looks awesome. I can see him winning a pro debut and going to the Mr. Olympia. Yep. What do you guys think? All right. And finally, we got a leaked video. Samson Daura leaked on Cutlercast and Jay Cutler's podcast. Milo Archer was the guest as usual. And so he showed us what Samson looks like right now, 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And yeah, he, he's my favorite. I want to see this guy win. And based on what I'm seeing right here, I believe it's entirely possible. Right here, as you can see, he is 330 freaking pounds. Yeah, that's big. That's a lot. That's really heavy. I mean, yeah, he's a little bit taller on the tall side, but like he's not a giant. He's not over six foot. He's, I believe, 5'11, maybe even 5'10, but I think 5'11. So, yeah, he's not that tall. So, he is massive. Like, he is as big as he needs to be. Maybe the back needs some work, too. Like, he's not perfect, but everything else is just super outstanding. And, like, the combination of this muscle and this shape and these proportions and everything. I mean, the back looks good in the back lat spread. And I believe his glutes are going to be sharper this year, like they are every time we see him. And also, like, the fact... Look at it. Look at all the arms and the legs here. I mean, look at the small waist and everything. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, look at the side tricep. Really beautiful, really aesthetic, but massive, like really massive. Kind of looks like Cedric McMillan or Lee Haney, but just way bigger, way bigger than both of those guys. So, yeah, yeah, I think this guy has a really big chance of winning the Mr. Olympia. It's my favorite physique. I want to see him win. I want to see him deserve it because I don't want to see him win no matter what. If... If Derek looks better, if Carlos Thomas Jr. looks better, if Harry Japan, Nick Walker, if any of those guys look better than Samson, they should win. So, yeah, but, like, I would love to see Samson deserve it. Like, come in even better than before, more conditioned, freakier, and I think he's got it in the back. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section of this video. If you guys want to show some support, some love, you can do that by clicking on the link in the description of this video and buying some of the old school lab supplements and using the code even i thank you in advance for it thank you so much guys for watching like the video subscribe to the channel thank you so much once again all the best and bye bye